Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. And I hope that you had a great weekend. Today is Monday, June 22nd, and it is day 174 on our 366 day game of life. And I hope that you are winning because playing the game well is gonna serve you well. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Charlene. So I hope y'all had a great weekend. I had one perfect day and one holiday. And then this week, Monday through Saturday, actually are gonna be perfect days because then we are leaving for the beach and I have saved some room for holidays, which is what you do live in a lifestyle, right? Hey, Tracy. Hey, Brenda. Hey, Deanda. Good morning. Michelle, thank you for telling us where you're from. I love to see that. I love to see that. Thank you. Good morning, Mary. Good morning. Good morning, Jennifer Snyder. Hey, everybody. Hey, Shibby Shop Sherry. Y'all go see Sherry this week, Monday through Friday, 11 to 6. And then Saturday, Kristen will be there from 10 to 2. And let me just give you a rundown of the classes that are going on in Carter, not Cartersville. Every once in a while, I go back to that Kennesaw this week. Tonight, there is a class at 6 p.m. It is currently full. All registration spots have been taken for that. If you are attending that and you cannot come, make sure that you uh, cancel the registration so that somebody's watching that registration can get in to that, okay? Um, and then Thursday night, I will be having a class at 6 p.m. at the Kennesaw location all about the website. I do hit the website quite a bit when I'm teaching a class anyway, but it's all about the website and different features so that you can understand what you're looking at and you'll know how to use those features. That will be the last Thursday night class that I have because going forward in the month of July, our classes are going to be Monday nights at 6, like we've always done, and Saturday mornings at 10.30, like we've always done. That gives us a week night class and a week end class, but we really didn't have a week day class. And we actually had one weekday class before the, uh, the crisis started, and we had to quit having classes, and so we haven't had any of those. But Julie Marandino, I'm really excited about this, Julie Marandino is going to be teaching on Wednesdays during the month of July. After that, we'll just have to see who wants to teach. Uh, Patricia Hurt, Tony Davis, Julie, um, and anybody else who might want to teach. We, we would love to have you come and be a guest speaker um, at that time. So, uh, but, but in the month of July, Julie's going to teach all of those classes. All of the classes for the whole month of July are already in the website, all of the, for, for the Kennesaw location. And in the webinars that I do on Sunday night and Monday night, they're already in there for the whole month of July as well. So, uh, so if you need to check that out, please do that. Please do that. Good morning, Joan. Good to see you. Good morning, uh, Stephanie and Marilyn and Ann and Brian. Good morning, Jennifer from Niles, Michigan. Awesome. Walking her miles in Niles. Hey, Brandy. Good morning. Um, so, I hope that y'all are able to make it to a class if you are in Michigan or if you are in Indiana. We had a person new from Indiana last night on the first class. And if you're from one of those places, then you need just to watch online stuff, okay? But watch it regularly. Always look to see if Travis or Jason are doing one that you can participate in and do that. And then uh, go back into the food library and watch, I mean, not the food library, goodness, the video library and watch a video each week at least because it keeps you motivated. Good morning, Sheila and Charlene and Ron and Colleen. We've got a great group this morning, a great group. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to, uh, I'm going to read the devotion, but actually before I do that, good morning. Thank you, Brandy. Uh Awesome, awesome. Good morning, Brenda. And Marilyn says that she does love watching those videos, which is so smart. Sheila from Coryton, Tennessee. Awesome, awesome. Thank you. That helps me remember that it's near Knoxville, so I'll, it'll all come together. So this weekend on Saturday, I had a fantastic class in Kennesaw. Uh, there's a gentleman there by the name of Matt Anderton. And Matt, I met Matt on the last Saturday 
of February. It was our last class that we had at the Cartersville location before moving to Kennesaw, okay? We moved to Kennesaw. We only had three classes in Kennesaw, and then the crisis happened, and we couldn't have any more classes. But get this. Matt has lost 75 pounds in that time frame. So just think about that. So I met him on the last Saturday of March. I mean, I mean February. So we had March, April, May, and it's mid-June. And he's lost 75 pounds. Okay, that is absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. And his mom was there with him too. And then she was on last night for class. So what that is, is that's dedication. That's somebody who took the concepts that we teach you because they're just concepts until you apply them and put it into personal application. So I was so excited to hear that uh, that Matt had lost 75 pounds. So that's awesome. Uh, good morning, Dawn. Good morning. And then after that, I got to drive to Center, Alabama and got to be with Rhonda McDonald and Heather Murphy and a, a large group over there. There were 30 people, 30 people over there. And it's just exciting to know that there are people willing to hear the information that's going to help them change their life. This is not only, this is life-saving information, it's life-changing information, but I've come up with a new one, life-improving. I mean, my life improved. I feel better than I ever have in my entire life, and I just turned 50. I feel better. So it is awesome. That's right, Deanda. I was so excited to hear about Matt's 75 pounds that, one, he'd done it during the pandemic. He just looked, heard the information, applied it, and did it. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning. Good to see you on here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, read today's devotion. Today's devotion is called Growing Pains. Growing, growing Pains. And its verse is James 5.16, if you'll type that in for me. James 5.16. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. <laughs> That's the King James, right? Um, criticism hurts. While your first reaction is quite naturally to retaliate, God has an alternative in mind. He says to listen to the words of your critic. If someone has pinpointed a fault in your conduct or character, give thanks that you have someone in your life who is frank and truthful enough to tell you where you need to make changes. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you mature and grow in this area. Well, first of all, that is something that is a learned um, learned ability. So, well, you have the ability, but you got to exercise that ability. Uh, you know, oftentimes when we're young, we don't want to listen to that, and then we kind of grow and mature a little bit, and then we're willing to listen to people when they have something uh, like a constructive criticism to say, Sue Picardi, oh my goodness, I was thinking about you this morning. Uh, hey there. Uh, and good morning, Sheila. So it's kind of hard to listen to somebody when they tell you something wrong, but it's something that you can learn to do and learn to do well. So if somebody gives you a piece of information, that at first you might go, well, dang, I didn't like that. Instead of having that attitude, think about it and go, okay, is there any truth to what they're saying? Has anybody ever told me that before? Um, are they saying it from a good spot or a bad spot? Just think about those things. And if it's something that you can identify that you need to work on, guess what? That's a great thing. You can identify that. Now, one of the things that Travis says uh, is that when he was 330 pounds, everybody comforted him and nobody confronted him when he really needed a confrontation, but he was getting comfort. And so now he said that he's willing to confront people rather than comfort them if he knows he need, they need the same help that he did. And uh, that's an important part to be at. See, the, the people, they'll love you and they'll comfort you when you're in a spot where you really need to turn around. But every once in a while, somebody will tell you the truth and you might be tempted to retaliate, but don't. Think about it and say, is there any truth in that? Can I go to the Lord and ask him about that and have him show me how to fix it? So uh, if you're near Noonan tonight, there is a 7 p.m. class with Vicki Adams at Westside Baptist Church. So I know that she would love to see anybody that's near Noonan for that. 
And uh, I would love for you, when you hop off this video, the first thing I want you to do is one, share this. That would be great. Share this and then tag me in the comments and I will know to put you in for the drawing because sharing this gets you in the drawing and sharing something from the website gets you in the drawing. So if you do both, you get two tickets in for the drawing this coming Friday, okay? But what I really want you to do is journal. And I want you to journal using the website. Whether it's on the computer or whether it's on your phone, I want you to journal using the website because it asks you more questions. It gives you more things to think through in a day. So what we're doing with Shibboleth is we are applying some daily disciplines. That's it, we're applying some daily disciplines and put together day after day after day, they work and you get amazing, phenomenal results. So, but the website journaling helps you think through more of those daily disciplines. So I hope that you will go and journal and that would be awesome. And let me see if I'm missing anything else. I don't think so. But if you uh, want to come to class this Thursday, please go ahead and register because I do think it will fill up. And then Saturday, make sure you register for that. If you can't come tonight, make sure you cancel your registration so somebody watching for that uh, can have the room to get in there because this is information that people want to know. Hey, Sue, good morning. Good morning. Okay, well, I'm going to hop off of here, but I hope that y'all have a perfect day, a perfect day. Whatever it is that you have planned for today, I hope that you have a perfect day. Oh, and I just thought about this. As long as it's not raining, I'm going to an outside luncheon today, and I'm going to take my oatmeal protein pie with me, and if they don't have something I am willing to eat on my perfect day, then I'm going to eat my oatmeal protein pie and be as happy as can be. Thank you for those hearts as we go off of here this morning. That was uh, my awesome, awesome team member, Sherry. And then I just saw Tracy's little face bubble pop up right there. So thank y'all so, so much for that. Uh, Becky wants to know what time I go live in the mornings. Becky, it is anywhere in between 7, 8, 7 15 to 7 30. 7 15 to 7 30. That's when it's going to be the start time. Yay, Sheila's birthday today. Y'all give some hearts to Sheila for her birthday. And you know what? She's having a holiday for her birthday. She is making the adult decision to have a holiday on her birthday and enjoy it. And I want you to enjoy that holiday because that's what holidays are for. They are there to enjoy those special, special days. So congratulations and happy birthday. We are so happy that you joined us this morning on your birthday. And I see Deanda and Michelle and lots of people giving you uh, uh, little hearts and stuff over here. I can only see the bubble when it's somebody that I'm friends with, I think. I don't know how. Because some bubble, some little hearts go up and I can't tell who they are. Anyway, I'll see y'all later. Have a happy birthday, Sheila. And y'all have a perfect day. Unless it's your birthday too. Bye.